All right, so I decided to make this video for arc-tempered cool troth um, for people to get used to uh, light bow gunning. So there's two sets I use. There's the one through three, and then I have a phase four, two different versions. Um, I did make different versions of the one through three set based on how far along in the end game you are. And as you see, when I go down the affinity, decreases on these. One other thing to note, um, for phases one through three, you use recoil suppressor. For phase four, you use reload assist, and I'll explain why. But first, the builds. So for my in-game build, we've got critical I7, thunder attack three, free element, ammo up three, part breaker three, bombardier three, maximum might, and then razor sharp slash spare shot. That's provided by the stick slate bow gun. The decorations as they are. Destroyer, expert, bolt, bolt, mighty, 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 destroyer, destroyer, bolt, and bomber. This is pretty, pretty hefty on decorations, so if you don't have them, don't worry about building it. The other thing is, it's the only one that uses a gamma piece of armor from an arc tempered Elder Dragon. For the other stats, we'll go with the next best in affinity at 40%. We have the Nergigante Helm, beta. Wrath Soul Mail, beta. Wrathless Vampresses, beta. Uragon Coil, beta. And Kirin Leg Guards, beta. All these are craftable. The Master's Charm is the ideal charm. And then of course we're using sticks. So our decorations are gonna be a Mighty Jewel, three Bolt Jewels, two destroyer jewels, one expert, no, two expert, my apologies, and two bomber. This will still get us a pretty high critical eye. The thunder attack three we need, the free element slash ammo up, the part breaker, the maximum might. We get fire resistance instead of those other two critical eyes, and we get only two instead of three bombardier. And of course, because of sticks, we get the razor sharp slash bear shot. The reason that it's important to have two pieces of Rathalos armor is for the critical element, which increases the lightning element or thunder element ammo you'll be using uh, in phases one through three. And the, the other one, the final one, it has a little bit lower um, because I know that the part breaker gems are harder to come by. It uses the Breaker Charm instead of the Master's Charm. Uh, this is going to be your bare minimum build. It's all the same armor pieces. Your difference is going to be your decorations. So this uses a lot more expert jewels, but I do that so you, if you feel you do, uh, want health boosts, you can switch them to Vitality Jewels. You're not going to deal as much damage, but this will get you through all phase one through three versus Cold Throth. Phase four, you're gonna change it. You're gonna stop using Thunder Element and you're gonna start using um, the Blast Ammo, I think that's what it's called, or the Sticky Ammo. Sticky Ammo and Slicing Ammo instead. So uh, we no longer need Critical Element since we're not using Elemental. So we're gonna take off the um, Rathalos Gloves, and we're going to put on Kolv Teroth's Rage Beta. We're also going to take off the Ergon and put on the Kolv Teroth Malice Beta and get the Empress Greaves Beta. Empress Greaves is going to give us two things of health, because you're going to need health. And your decorations are going to be still three Bomber Jewels, if you can afford them. Uh, Destroyer, you don't necessarily need this. This is going to be the, the one that's used, the Part Breaker, used less. Um, just because the only thing that it's going to work on is going to be her tail. Uh, this is the set you want to switch to after she releases out of her uh, gold covering coat. Um, we also have a mighty jewel and then, you know, vitality to get level three and some expert jewels for increased affinity. Um, I don't really have an alternate for this because everything except for part breaker is pretty important for the final part. Um, so I would definitely at least start here. You should have, if you've already done coal a few times, you should have the parts and pieces to make these two pieces of equipment. Uh, Emperor's Graves are pretty light on 
items and if you have sticks then you should be able to make it and we, we should already have these like if you're above 100 rank 20 you should have Nergigante Helm and Wrath of Soul Mail or at least the stuff to make it um, as for items you're gonna have your potions your stuff to make more potions max potions you're gonna have your thunderbugs for thunder ammo slash berries for slash ammo blast nuts to make sticky ammo as well as gunpowder level 2 to make that sticky ammo level 2 you can have a far caster for emergencies gunpowder large barrels devil's blade large barrel bombs mega barrel bombs to get the most out of your barrel bombing you're also going to have armor and power talion armor charm power charm animate scenes might seeds and with the how i have it designed um when i start there's also a armor and demon drug for increase that full all the way through lastly the only ammos you need are going to be sticky ammo sticky ammo 2 thunder ammo slicing ammo sleep ammo 1 you don't really need because you're primarily going to use sleep ammo 2 or at least someone that's using late bow gun is um, but it's nice to have them just in case you're the only one using it this is it's a very casual run um, so the biggest thing is going to be if you haven't used late bow gun it's literally an aim and fire so this is with the reload assist instead of the recoil suppressor. So based on what you're using, you're gonna get either recoil, like with this one, and still get decent reload. So like with, with the recoil assist, I can move around and reload my sticky ammo. Whereas if I change, go back to this one with the recoil suppressor, so now instead of getting that kickback, oh, wrong ammo. So with that thunder ammo, instead of getting that kickback, I can strafe and shoot. This is especially important for phases one through three, so you can dodge her attacks. You don't need to worry about dodging, you know, rolling too much. You know, when she's focused at you, just keep strafing, continue shooting, pretty simple. Um, one thing that can be useful if you're in the middle of shooting and you need to dodge, if you hit the buttons, you can actually do a side dodge and then a slide. And that gets you very far, much further than a regular roll does. Um, and then you can also do that while planning the special ammo. You can place it, you can do a dodge and a dodge, get away. Uh, special ammo, those will get blown up by uh, um, explosions, shooting with the ammo the monster stepping on it or you know, just smacking it um, it's great for extra damage you get two hits out of it each time so typically what a lot of people will do is is they'll place down the barrel bomb all right place them down put this down get that damage and the second one's still going and you can get back to it and smack it a second time for extra damage. Um, the last thing I have is the radial wheel. So I have mega potions, max potions, the large barrel bombs you'll be making, mega barrel bombs, your emergency farcaster, your thunder ammo because you're going to be crafting it, your sticky ammo one, and your sticky ammo two. Um, but that's all you will use during the actual fight. You don't really need much else. Um, and just just to see the item bar you can hit triangle once you're in here to do that we have our potions our temporary buffs the demon drug and armor drug are in front of this but i don't have them on this right now so don't worry about it the far caster for emergencies if you don't want to use the radio wheel your mantles and then your mega barrel bomb the large barrel bomb mega nutrients the potion Palico supplies, obviously the fishing rod, the BBQ split, and the capture net. You won't use during the fight, so that's why they're on the ends. So it just stays between these two, four, six, eight items. Pretty simple. So that's all I've got.